So we're heading in right now. It's a little after seven o'clock. Uh, a little later start than I expected. Um, honestly, thought we we're gonna be in, you know, five, six in the morning, but it just started really snowing heavy the last like 20 minutes and starting to build up. Uh, we got about two inches, give or take. Uh, this snow though, you can't really tell, but uh, this is that heavy, wet stuff. Um, I mean, it's 28 degrees right now, but it's already starting to sleet a little bit. So it's gonna be a mixed bag today. It's gonna be a mess. Um, like I've said in other videos, every storm we've had so far this year has been been powdery snow, which we usually never get. We All the storms are like the one we're getting now. It's usually, you know, sleet, rain, snow, a complete mess. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. We're used to these type of storms, but it is gonna be a mess today. Roads are very slippery underneath. Um, seen a couple of accidents already. Um, but, so I'm heading in, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna split, every truck's gonna do two properties each. Uh, since it's a work day, a business day, uh, all our properties have to basically, except for the churches that we do, have to be maintained throughout the day. So everybody's gonna take two properties each, and then I got the skid steer doing our bigger property at the apartment building we do, so that will cover that. Uh, so every, every property should be covered, a truck should be at them pretty much every hour uh, on the dot. Um, and then once it starts wrapping up later, uh, it's supposed to change over to sleet uh, and then slow down about uh, you know one two o'clock this afternoon. We'll start hitting our residential customers. So I'm heading in now. Got to start our first uh, couple commercial properties. Be a lot of footage of me plowing in this truck today. Uh, like I said, they, we're all going to do our own properties. So um, I'll try to get over and check in on the guys at some point. But uh, for the morning right now, just kind of getting everything open. I'll be uh, doing my own thing. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. We're almost at the first property. Just got my first round done on this parking lot. Look how, I don't know if the camera does this justice, but look how big these snowflakes are. They're literally about an inch. They're huge. So I did this less than 10 minutes ago. It's already covered. So it's gonna be a busy morning. <laughs> it is what it is. And so like I said, this stuff's very wet and heavy. Uh, this is one of the longest driveways we do. It's like a quarter mile long into the woods. And it's very tight and narrow. So I like to try to hit this every couple inches during the bigger storms. So I'm gonna do my first pass on this. There's a couple hills on this one. So I usually throw a little bit of salt down just to make it easier for me when I come back later.
really big fat snowflakes, like that heavy wet snow. Now it's all like fine granular powdery snow again. So I think that's what we're gonna be dealing with all day is up and down, you know, heavy wet stuff, whatever. But it's uh, it's almost a whiteout at this point. I can't really see too far in front of me. So what I'm doing now is I'm uh, two of my my two plow sites that I'm doing the commercial ones are right near most of my driveway. So I'm kind of alternating between them all, just opening everything up. And I'm just gonna do that all morning. I'm just gonna cycle through, open up driveways, open up the parking lot, just try to shovel stuff, just try to keep everything open and do multiple passes. That's really the best thing we can do right now. measured got about four inches so far it's uh, 8 30 most of the snow about probably three of those four inches have been the last probably hour and a half two hours so so I'm out of breath I was just shoveling <laughs> uh, so yeah we're just gonna, gonna cycle through and just keep uh, kind of chipping away um, normally we'll wait till the end to do a lot of the shoveling and plowing on these residentials but we're a little short-handed today and it's supposed to get right now the snow is actually still pretty fluffy so um, my goal is if we can just try to keep up with it, shovel as much as we can, you know, almost just do it twice. Do it now at four inches, and if we end up at eight inches, we'll do it one more time. So we're only shoveling four inches twice instead of eight inches. Um, so that's the plan. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to back out of the driveway. Um, it's supposed to snow pretty heavy for the next probably two hours. So, I mean, we were in the four to eight inch range. I think they'll probably be right on the money with that. Um, probably end up probably close to eight inches, I would say. I already got four inches, so um, we're halfway there. So I've got a couple more driveways I'm gonna open up and then go back to the two commercial properties and uh, hit them again for a second round. At some point this morning, I'm gonna try to get over and uh, try to get some footage of the other trucks. It's just we kind of, you know, everybody that, knows, that plows knows <laughs> you kind of get uh, pretty damn busy and it's kind of tough to do anything but, you know, focus on what you're doing. So um, I apologize to storms like this, especially ones during the day. Uh, when everything's open, we have to be on our A game. We can't, you know, we can't dilly dally and, you know, unfortunately I can't get out of the truck and run around filming. <laughs> you know, if it was at night, you know, and nothing was open, I could absolutely do that. But daytime storms, um, our job is to keep these properties open and that's exactly what we're gonna do, so. But uh, one more residential with a hill. Uh, I just wanna get the ones with the hills and stuff, the bigger driveways done, or at least the first pass. And then like I said, we'll go back to the commercial lots. Well, I didn't get any footage of it, but I was just plowing the last parking lot I was doing and uh, a lot of people like to cut through because it's like a cut through parking lot and uh, granted I wasn't you know obviously you plow an open parking lot it's a white out I wasn't really looking way way behind me but a truck tried to squeeze in behind me flying through the parking lot I almost hit him so I beat my horn of course the guy stops gets out starts walking up to me I'm like you know starts yelling at me I'm like you know I'm not really the one to fall to you you're the one who cut me off but I'm sure everybody who plows deals with people like that, you know, they just don't get it. Um, they had the whole parking lot they could drive in too, but they had to drive like right where it already made a pass. It's like, go, go figure, you know? But that's my rant of the day. I thought I was getting in a fight this morning. I'm not a fighter either.
Alright, so we just checked up on uh, the apartments here where the skid steer's at. Um, he's doing an awesome job. He's got everything pretty much down to pavement. Uh, we fixed the pusher. If you guys watched the last couple of videos, it wasn't scraping as good, so I fixed the cutting edge. Scraping much better now, so... I'm gonna go find the other guys, see how they're doing. Uh, basically right now, I'm just checking on everybody, see how they're uh, making out. And then uh, it looks like it's starting to sleet a bit and uh, kind of change over to freezing rain. So we might at this point start doing like a final cleanup on a lot of these places. It's tough to say. The radar is still showing snow coming in, but um, you can probably hear the windshield. It's all ice pellets at this point and uh, it, it's warming up quite a bit, so. We'll see what's gonna go on. I think if we can get these scraped down and maybe get some salt down, we might be able to just fight the rest of it off. But uh, let's go find the other guys, see how they're doing. Um, I apologize, there hasn't been a ton of footage of like, you know, all the other trucks and stuff. Um, just been a crazy morning. Usually we don't get morning storms like this. Usually they're like overnight or on weekends. So when we get storms like this, it's priority to keep all our properties open. So the footage has been kind of lacking and um, the only footage I've got from from me, so. But uh, yeah, we'll go find the other guys, see how they're doing. A uh, little short staff today, don't have any shovelers. We've been kind of taking care of everything ourselves, you know, plow drivers doing the shoveling. Uh, let's see, they should be in here somewhere. Yep, there they are. Uh, this one's scraping up real well. We uh, we didn't pre-treat every single parking lot last night. Uh, this one obviously got pre-treated, scraping real well. So, set you guys up, we'll watch the guys real quick. So this property is pretty much all cleaned up for now. Um, it's sleeting like crazy right now. So I think what we're gonna do is just come back in a little bit and see see how it's going. It's supposed to slow down in the next hour or so. Probably have to scrape it one more time. We'll probably throw some salt down and go from there. Um, these storms are tough with the sleet, the freezing rain. It's, uh, it's warming up now, so it's above freezing. So the ground temp's mm -hmm. obviously gonna warm with that. So I don't know, stuff might stop melting on its own. Uh, we're usually used to these type of storms. This is usually what we get all the time, but um, I'm gonna jump out get this shoveled and uh, This one will be hundred percent done So it's now fully sleeting and freezing rain. Temperature's up to 34. So we're gonna check on everything, see how everything's looking from earlier. Hopefully it's uh, relatively bare pavement. Uh, yeah, not too bad, just slush. So we can work with that. So I was up here early, you can't really see, but everything's bare pavement in the front. We're at the shop. I'm gonna load up with some salt. I'm empty. Uh, haven't gotten too much footage of the uh, salting, but uh, two of our parking lots are bare pavement right now. 
it's uh, it switched over to pretty much like sleet and freezing rain at this point. So we're gonna just salt everything heavy, all the commercial stuff at least. Uh, that should hold it off for the rest of the day. It's, it's up to like 35 degrees right now. So um, we're gonna start on our residentials very shortly. Uh, I got one more parking lot to salt and do and then uh, we'll get over to the residentials. So gonna load up and uh, we'll get out of here real quick. give you guys an afternoon update so I haven't had much footage this afternoon we've been scrambling um, snow stopped at about 10 30 11 changed over to sleet and it was raining for about an hour that rain made the snow extremely heavy um, really really heavy <laughs> um, it stopped completely and then the last like 20 minutes half hour it just started snowing like crazy again I was just looking at the uh, the, the map and it looks like we're gonna have another good round of snow come through. So I hope it doesn't accumulate much because we're really making good progress. All our commercial customers are 100% done. Bare pavement, everything salted, treated, no complaints, nothing but compliments there. Um, the issue we have right now is we're working down a residential list and unfortunately anybody that plows residentials know, you know, the second the snow stops, your phone starts going crazy. You go, Where are you? When are you coming? Blah, blah, blah. And it's, people just don't understand it takes time. Um, so I, last couple storms it's just been getting worse and worse and worse and I mean we, we do our best we bust our butts I've already fired a few customers just for you know being being tough I won't say the word I want to say but um, <laughs> so um, as of this I mean next year we, we're probably gonna drop a lot of our residentials to be honest and I, I mean I hope none of my customers are watching this video I, I don't it's not all of our customers but we do have quite a few that are just their pain and it just we work our butts off and you know to plow a driveway for you know half the price of what we're doing these commercials for it's just not worth it anymore um, it was great to get into the business but now that we got all our commercial you know accounts and everything established the residentials unfortunately got to go so um, enough of me ranting uh, I'm gonna meet up the guys we're gonna all work together and get the rest of this residential list done uh, I got about 20 more of them to do then uh, hopefully we'll be done with that. So just gonna keep an eye on what's going on here because like I said, the ground's starting to get covered up again, which is what it is. I was hoping we can get done soon, go home, take a nap. Um, I'm tired, but it um, doesn't look like it's gonna be the case. Looks like we're gonna be out for a little bit. All right, so it's nighttime now, obviously. Uh, it's about seven o'clock at night. We're just uh, going out and salting everything. Everything's iced up. Uh, dropped from 35 degrees to 20, so everything is literally all ice, all crusted up. So we're gonna salt everything and uh, come back out in the morning and see how it looks.
right, so I'm probably gonna end the video here. Uh, it's eight o'clock at night. We uh, we just basically gotta go out and salt everything again. Uh, the snow, it's basically the temperatures got up to about 35 today, and uh, we had everything down to bare pavement, and then uh, snow came back through again. Got about an inch of snow on everything, and everything's frozen solid again. So we're just gonna salt everything one more time, and then go back on the morning. But um, really, no sense in you know getting footage of uh, all the salt. It's kind of boring footage to be honest. So <laughs> uh, we're gonna end it here. Uh, this is probably it for this storm. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one.